Okay, I'll do my best to put competition policy, at least in Canada, in a nutshell. So what does competition policy primarily care about? Um, competition, our competition laws are unconcerned, generally unconcerned with the size of the firm. So it's important to remember that big isn't necessarily bad. bad. The incentive to become a large company is intoxicating. It's what drives competition. What competition law really cares about is ensuring that firms, once they achieve that dominance, don't abuse that dominance. So the Competition Act has nine different behaviors that it deems anti-competitive, and it also looks at mergers. But if you zoom out and kind of think about or contextualize why we have competition law in the first place, uh, you got to put Canada back in that global context. So the roots of having competition law have to do with controlling the economic and political power of what were at the time, you know, starting to become monopolistic companies. Um, we have a purpose statement in the Competition Act, which is wonderful in Canada, because it tells us those kind of core for, four things that the law fundamentally cares about. But it's also worth pointing out, you know, not all competition uh, relevant issues are dealt with through the act. So there's a suite of complementary public policy levers, be they privacy, uh, consumer protection or labor that are all very relevant to you know fostering a, a competitive environment and a competitive firm and, and protecting consumers but again not necessarily dealt with just through the act let's take a look at that purpose statement for a second so it's about maintaining and encouraging competition uh, and an and a competitive marketplace uh, we care about efficiency and uh, adapt adaptability of the economy Efficiency is a key feature that's actually up for debate right now in Canada. We'll talk about that in a second. The ability for firms to compete in a global market and competitive prices and choices for consumers. So again, the act regulates specific business behaviors like abuses of dominance by firms that hold substantive or substantial market power, um, mergers and consolidation of power, right? That's another way of saying monopolization and the lessening of competition through anti-competitive agreements. The law is administered by Canada's Competition Bureau, which is nested within ISED. It has the power to begin and lead investigations, uh, review mergers, and take cases to the Competition Tribunal. Um, and the Attorney General of Canada is responsible for administering the criminal provisions of the Act. So something like price fixing is viewed as, as a criminal activity. Um, think about blah blahs with the bread, bread uh, price fixing scheme some years ago. Um, this has been over the last uh, century, a, a shift away from, from criminal to civil sanctions. Um, and there's limited, this is, I don't know if this is relevant, but um, there's limited scope for private actions. So the public to act as a regulator. So that's kind of what competition law cares about. Has it become a major issue in the data-driven economy? Well, you know, there's an argument that says, because the last time we updated the act uh, modestly was 2008, the same year that the App Store launched. So I think from that perspective, it's due for renewal, right? We have to keep our regulatory environments up to date. As for why it's so much more urgent in this, you know, increasingly digital context, the way that businesses have to or are forced to compete has arguably fundamentally changed right? And there are, could be dimensions of online competition that are fundamentally different from a brick and mortar context, if not different than supercharged and kind of hyper accelerated. That means we have to think and talk about the role of data, both in mergers, but in creating competitive advantages, and talk seriously about the either barriers to entry or ways that some firms can control and set the terms of conditions, uh, terms and conditions of competition in ways that could be anti-competitive. So that's some of what I'm looking forward to exploring more with you.